In a span of about seven weeks, we watched Kevin Durant give the ultimate ultimatum to Nets owner Joe Tsai. But yesterday, Brooklyn's front office and KD have agreed to move forward with their partnership. New York Post Nets reporter Brian Lewis is on the line now. He's going to give us a scoop on how it all went down. Brian, ultimatums in sports, they usually don't end on a good note. So how did this reconciliation come about? Didn't Durant want... Marks and uh, Nash gone. He, you're right. They don't usually end well. You're right. He did want them gone. I think all parties figured out after about a couple weeks of this, well, probably a couple months of this, that they probably weren't all going to get what they wanted out of this, right? I mean, the chemistry of the team was already messed up. Kevin Durant wanted out but he couldn't get traded to places that he wanted to go to. And the market for Kevin Durant wasn't as robust as the Nets thought. They all realized that the best place for each other was to stay together and to run this back and try to win a championship. All right, I'm thinking relationships. Sometimes, all right, you want to stay in the relationship. People want to stay in the marriage. But do you really think that this hatchet has truly been buried, or do you think that the crack crack and the Nets foundation will be there throughout the season? Well, I mean, it's impossible to really conceive of all parties not realizing what the situation is. I mean, you have to go, I think was positive that you have the parties that Kevin Durant wanted gone in the room in Los Angeles when these meetings were going on. I do think there's a value in that because as you point out, there is a hatchet to be buried, and these are people, not pixels in a video game, all right? So there are issues that are going to have to be worked through. You likened it to a marriage, and there's probably some marriage counseling that is going to have to go on. I'd say it. there are times when it has worked. More often than not, it has not worked. All right, so let's go into this marriage counseling between the Nets and Kevin Durant. The Nets have had some very rough patches uh, throughout their last season last year, including a loss streak that went over 10 games. So what happens if the Nets come out and they have a slow start to the beginning of their season? Do you think that that could re reignite KD's desire to leave the team? It could. I mean, I I've learned it's probably dangerous to try to predict what KD is going to do or Kyrie is going to do. Um, and it probably does depend on the nature of that slow start. Um, but yeah, if listen, if KD is healthy and there are issues either with Steve Nash's coaching or with Kyrie's availability or with Ben Simmons' availability, and KD's playing 40 minutes a game on a team that looks 500, yeah, I, I would think these are things that we're going to have to keep an eye on. And you're going to be looking over your over your shoulder to see if KD gets disgruntled again. Of course, that's that's the situation that's been built here. AKA the saga can continue. Thanks, Brian, for joining us. No, oh, no worries.